All praises to the Most High. This is uh, Saturday, the Sabbath. Uh, we thank God for another Sabbath. Uh, we just want to talk a little bit about this uh, interview that uh, Mr. Whitlock did. Uh, interviewed the uh, Jason Whitlock interviewed the uh, Honorable uh, Bishop Nathaniel, and uh, his thing was that uh, he uh, was was. Uh, set to discredit the teachings of the Hebrew Israelites. We knew that during the interview, and then later on he came out to rebuttal the things that were said about the Israelites being in captivity and not being free, about the people on this land being uh, in captivity and not being free. So we just want to show a little bit of that and then and give our own rebuttal to him saying that we are free and there's no uh, systemic racism happening to our people today all over the world, okay? So. We are on the bottom of all societies, and it was not to be so, but because we broke God's commandments, he Fair use, fair use, this is to edify the people and teach the people of God that we might come together and keep the First Amendment, gather together and declare to these people that we want our identity back. And you can you can call us what you want to call us, but we know who we are and we are, we're stepping back in our identity. And if you got your little application policies, if you don't want to hire us because we give you our true identity, then that's on you. But we're, we're trying to encourage our people to come back and take your identity back. We are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. The real Israelites. Punished us. The Lord punished us. And now we are oppressed always when you read Deuteronomy 28 and verse 25. That's why Christ came. One more thing, uh, Jason. One more thing. Because most people... Uh, especially in Christianity, when I, when I think about the second coming of Christ, most people don't understand. Now, we, we, we study micro expressions. This man cannot have his feelings because he don't even try to have them. And what he's thinking and what he's feeling is showing on his face. You cannot, you cannot have that unless you intend to, unless you try to. But when you hear something in your ears, your face automatically shows what you're thinking. You'll have to recover that expression, but it, we got it on camera. We know what he's thinking. He's scoffing. He don't believe the word of God, and he don't like that Nate is reading out of the Bible. And if you watch the whole interview, you will see that. What the second of second coming of Did Christ? Did you see that? In Did you see that expression change right there? Frustra frustration. Disgust uncomfortable i see a little shame and guilt on his face you know i don't know what he's thinking but something is causing him to express shame and guilt and and uh frustration why are you frustrated with the bible entails if i may luke chapter right there right there see that expression right there what expression is that uh-huh, I got you now. I figured something out. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to debunk that. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to disprove that. Verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Where the Israelites? For he has visited and redeemed his people, possessive, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us. In the and not only that, that, that expression right there, He's trying to express confidence, but what he's really expressing is that he's confound and that the same expression, the same thinking that I I read in the book was Stephen, as Stephen Stoney. Stephen was preaching the gospel and ex explaining to the people how they had voted that Christ be crucified. And they had crucified the cornerstone that the Old Testament talked about. Isaiah talked about the cornerstone that the people rejected. 
and they were that people that was rejected that rejected Christ and they were on the wrong side of judgment. That's what he's feeling now. That's the expression I see right now is I might be in trouble. I could be wrong. I'm confounded. This sounds like the truth. And you know what those people did as Stephen Stoney? They, st they stopped their ears, put their hands over their ears, and start humming, making sound. Talking in tongues or whatever. And because they were being, the word was so powerful and so true that it was convincing them of their guilt and condemnation. It was convincing them that they were wrong. And that's what's happening now. That's what the word always do to people who don't want to believe the truth. When the truth comes out, it comes with guilt and shame. And that's what I see him trying to hide. House of his servant David. That's Christ. And he, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Watch this. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hates. Christ is coming to save us from our enemies and the hand of everyone that hates us. That's his second coming. He promised us that. That's why he said he will wipe all tears from our eyes. Because our mothers and fathers weep and mourn. Why? Because of redlining, school to prison pipelines, things of that nature. Okay, we always suffer in mass incarceration. But the Lord promised to save us from this. And that's what we desperately need. You see where he looked off and see where he's looking down now? And the way he looked off to, you know, it's like he's discounting our suffering. We'll see what his next words are. Jason, that's what we desperately need. Good job, Bishop. Good job. Okay. And so I hear you on that and, and probably believe what you're saying, but I have a different interpretation of it because I, I actually believe the enemy is within is that I have a battle going on with me. Okay. Okay. So we'll listen to him. And you guys saw the that if you saw the I interview. embrace the things spelled out in the Bible, I'm going to slay the enemy within me, and I'm going to have dominion and rulership. No, you don't have it because Thessalonians say that God sent you a strong delusion because you don't believe the truth. He sent you a lie to believe. He let you believe that lie they told to you in slavery. And 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 he kept the prophet's mouth shut until today, until today, the time of today. He kept their mouths shut. That's how you got to believe that lie so strongly. And he let all these other false prophets and preachers come out and continue that lie coming out of slavery. They did it under the fear of, of uh persecution even after Lincoln freed so-called freed the slaves the system was set in place or the idea of how they would set the system in place the crafty council was already working the birth certificate fraud uh, all the things that brother Nate mentioned the redlining holding the black people back holding their identity from them holding the Bible back and the uh, piece, the uh, secret treaty of Verona. I've showed that to you. That's in some of my videos. Make the preachers, give the preachers a gift and have them enter into contract and uh, a covenant with, with them to hold the people in slavery, mental slavery. People pass for lack of knowledge. To hold us in mental slavery so we could continue to run after their government for help instead of coming back to the Lord and his commandments and so he can govern us. Our t the time of our slavery is over now. We've been destroyed already. The chains are off. We are in slavery because, like Kanye said, most of us are in mental slavery and still working for the, our oppressors because we choose to be. And because the lie that you continue to tell, Brother Jason Whit uh, Whitlock, but but you can you say you're free? It's in the video where you're saying you're free. Your family told you that you could be whatever you wanted to be, and you chose to be a second-rate talk show host on YouTube. You could be whatever you wanted to be, 
but you were free and it was so much opportunity for you, you chose almost like a trash truck driver or a factory worker. A little bit above them nowadays because you get those donations. You you know, you're a false preacher. You're supposed to be a false teacher and you could have been anything helpful to your people or the rest of society, to the rest of society. You chose to be a, a nappy headed jokester. Okay? So we're gonna leave we're gonna leave from we're gonna leave from there and we're gonna go we're gonna go over here to uh since Whitlock he says that uh he says that he's free. And I have no idea what he considered to be free. But we're going to give you the definition of free. We got the video right here. We're going to give you the definition of free. This is the definition of being free. This is Black's Law's definition. And this is what white people consider being free, sir. Okay. Black's Law, fourth edition. Not subject. Free. We're looking at free. Very important here. Free, not subject to legal constraints of another. Okay, Jason Whitlock. Are you subject to legal constraints? I'm asking the rest of you Christians. Are you subject to the, the so-called Esau's UCC codes, the white man's UCC Did you make those laws up? Did you make up the Negro codes? Did you make those laws? Do you have to get a passport? Do you have to buy license to drive? Do you have to get insurance? Which insurance is okay? But do you have to uh, get a license to run a business? Those are legal constraints. Do you... Do you have to have a speed limit? That's okay. But who made these laws up? Who made these laws up? Unconstrained. Okay. Having power, having power to follow the dictate of his own will. Jason Willard, do you follow the dictate of your own will? Is that what you, that's your will to just be a second class YouTube a uh, talk show host. You, did you choose to, uh, for all these nations to get up above you? Did you choose to have to borrow from them and 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 not be able to have your own financial system or your money system? Did you choose to live in the ghetto? Did you choose uh, to be called uh, by words? Did you choose that? You're choosing it now because of the lie you choose to believe. Having power to follow the dictates of his own will. Christians, are you following the dictates of your own will when, when that uh, uh, wicked police uh, 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 patty roller, when he chases you down and, and shoots your children and your people in the, in the, in the car unarmed, shoot, shoot them down, drag them out? And shoot them, rape your women, you know, fish search you, throw you, make you sit on the ground for nothing, you know. Did you choose that? Did you choose to have these people to have to come in your land with their own government and say that they they are your governors and they make laws that you better keep and you're in your land? Did you choose to get all your lands taken from your uh, ancestors? And, and, and you have to live in housing complex with neighborhood programs over them, neighborhood uh, uh, watchdogs telling you where you can grow your plants, your, can you if you can have a garden. Did, did you choose these things? No, Christians, you didn't. Not subject to the dominion of another. Now, don't, don't, the Brits and don't the United States claim your land as do, uh, intimate domain? They, don't they have dominion of, of your birth certificate? Your, don't they trade your birth certificate? Don't you have to pay to be buried? Don't you have to pay to get married? 
Don't you have to pay them everything? Can you catch rainwater and 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 and, and purify it and, and use your own water? Can you grow your own food or do you have to go to them for food and everything? Not compelled to involuntary service to slavery. When we in slavery, don't we have to work for them? Don't they have all the jobs? Using this sense as opposed to slaves, right? Not bound to service for fixed terms of years. Slavery, indentured sl sl servitude. Okay. Okay. In distinction to being. Okay. Uh. The uh bound to service of fixed terms of years. Don't we have to? Don't they tell us? They'll pay us the rest of the, our wages that they took from us while we was working. All those taxes they took from us, paid us the cheap, the, the lowest wage they could pay us. And they said we can get some of it back if we work till we're 65. Come on, y'all. Boom, as an apprentice. That's what they called them back then, 14th century. Enjoying full civic rights. Okay, man. Are you First place? Are you, tells you right. Are you enjoying your full civic rights? You don't even know who your nation is. They stole all those records. They they took and and sold our kids. We find out now that over four hundred thousand children were sold in between Texas and Florida and up around North Carolina. They got all the uh the the uh, ship uh records, the uh the cargo records where they took babies, infants, and elderly, and the elderly, and they shipped them mostly, they sold them, they bred you, and then took your child from you, uh, like the Bible said, you won't enjoy your children, you won't, you'll see them go, and you won't never see them again, you won't know them when you see them, if you saw them, uh, 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 and, and they say, you know, and we know, they brought, they brought the north, the southern kingdom from Africa, from Africa, and spread it and, but most of the slave trade was done from America down through America, back and forth, you know. And they would move you from where you were born and where you were where uh, where you were raised. If you was a runner, they'd take you somewhere where you didn't know the land, the landscape, right? And but basically, they took the children and raised them, and that's how they brainwashed you not to to make you think you can't. You're not part of this land that they you wasn't here when they got here that was to steal the land right so now we see and i got the video on it the video on it the documentary that a lot of the slave uh trade was told to us in reverse like uh cooey mayo and dane Calloway and a couple of others like they say like the the research that they've done is is correct only I think only Kui Mayo, he's the only one that will admit that we were Israelites, that the Indians were here first, the Capiton people, and they were Israelites. I don't think Dane he probably knows it, but he hasn't he hasn't uh really publicly displayed the knowledge of that yet. I think he knows it, you know. He gotta know it. But he was denying religion at first, but you're not going to you're going to be just like the Moors if you go another way in in religion, because we are the Israelites. It's, that's the truth. Yeah. They can't they don't have the right to govern us. This is what you call free. If we are free, then why are they governing us? Why are we subject to their UCC codes? Why are they stopping us in the streets? Why are they shooting us? That's illegal according to Black's law and according to their own term, we are free. Either we are free and they are doing illegal acts to us or we're their slaves and they're not about to let us think that we are free. So that's, uh, you can go watch the video. It's on my channel. Uh, 
We're going to go back here and just end it with this. And rulership over my house, my community, my neighborhood. my state, my county, whatever. And so what I hear is, is almost if, 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 if I'm a Jewish person, what, what I would hear is like, oh, y'all don't want to follow scripture and want to be mad that we follow scripture and have. First place, they don't follow the scriptures. They are the synagogue of Satan. And the Bible said we are the only people that ever follow God. They've never offered sacrifices. We did. So you got all of that wrong. And uh, you're not even a good Christian because I was a Christian since I was 12 years old. And I started preaching at 12. Christianity. I learned the Christianity, the Christian doctrine. I learned about Christianity, the Christianity doctrine. On up until... 2015 is when I started coming into the truth. I heard about it 30 years before that, but I rejected it. So you can't give up on people. We're not giving up on you, brother, but you're under the lie. So at that point, you guys have seen all these videos. This is fair use. I just wanted to chime in and uh, give my point of view on it because, you know, Bible said, blessed are they that publicize the word of God. I got to do the work, even though I might not be physically able to get out there and do what uh, I could have done in my younger age, but I'm doing something now, okay? I'm supporting these brothers, although I don't agree with all the doctrine. I'm not going to mention it because I don't want to break them down. They are doing a good job, and it's not much that I don't agree with them on, just about everything. They were my first real teachers to show me the whole truth of this Bible. And I can't fault them and reject them for some things that they said that they are still growing on. They're still coming into the knowledge. And God has given all, this, all of us dreams and visions uh, to where we will know. And we got the, we got the book, but the, it's, it's being unsealed. It's being revealed to us as we go day by day. So God bless you all. And uh, it's all praises to the Most High for this knowledge coming out because we're right here at the end. Right here at the end, Hosea said that when they say, they will say to us in the last day that we are the sons of the living God. That's how we know that we're in, we're in the end. And uh, it's happening, it's happening more and more. The people that oppose us the most, the Ashkenazis, they are saying now, they are admitting based on the fact that God is letting the truth come out and they can't debunk it, they can't oppose it with the book, with the Bible that they say they believe in. That nobody, nobody, no group can oppose this Bible. It's not us, we're just reading the Bible. You know what it means, you know, communications, you, everybody understand. If I say, if I spell cat, C-A-T, you're not going to get a vision in your mind of a dog. So it ain't no private t interpretation. Words are symbols that communicate messages from my brain to my mouth, to your brain, to your ears, to your, to your frontal lobe, you know. That's how messages are communicated. When you hear it, you form a picture in your mind of what is being said to you. But I get it out of my brain by speaking it out of my mouth through symbols of communication. If we were speaking two different languages, the Bible had to be translated in English because God knew we would go in captivity 
under the English speaking people and they would come over here and bring us uh bring us the Bible. Bring us the Bible. So Jack King he had King James to have it translated. And now we have the truth. And he's waking us up and we're reading this Bible and the truth is being revealed and the devil's mad and the devil's shame and the devil's defeated and the devil's full of fear. He's full of fear because he see this great army and he know we didn't wake ourselves up, right? Phil Donahue, he was laughing with, with when Brother Khalid and that other Israelite brother was bringing the truth because they were laughing because it. We wasn't woke up then, wasn't woke up in the great number. But Revelation and Ezekiel said when they see us wake up in that great number, when that fear is going to fall on them. And that's happening right now. And the Bible says another thing. The Israelites are going to come together as one people in the land of their captivity. They're going to gather together, appoint themselves one leader. That's not talking about Jesus Christ. He's already been appointed. In, in order for you to be part of the one-third, you already have made him a part of your life. You have already have him in your heart. So it's not talking about that. You can't be a part of the one-third without already accepting Jesus Christ. But it's said in the day that we find out that the world tells the truth and, 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 we, and we believe without a doubt that we are the Israelites, we're going to appoint ourselves one leader, so all this division with the Israelite group is going to cease and we're going to have to go before these people and tell them, stop calling us out of our names. We are the Israelites and we demand that you stop governing over us. We're going to stop implying consent. We are implying consent that they are our governors. But now we're going to take that back. We're going to reject their offer to be our governors and our diplomats and our, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're rejecting that government. And we got to depend on God to take us into this next phase, the new covenant. He's got to feed us, clothe us, protect us. And we got to come together and stop, come out of the, come out of the, the uh, wilderness and come and, and head into the promised land. And remember those 12 spies, when they came back, from Canaan, from the Canaan land, Joshua and Caleb was the only ones that said, we can do this. And the people start crying and then start hollering, let's stone them. We can't go in there because those spies, those other spies said that these people are great and we can't take them. So, and that's what a lot of our people are saying now. We can't come away from America. They give us everything. They're too great. We're scared of their nukes and their drones. And you know what God said? How long? Am I going to be plagued with these wicked, evil doers? So if you got the mind that God is not going to protect us when we come out as one people and, and demand that they stop governing over us, and you and you and then God is calling you evil and wicked. Doubt is, doubt in God is faith in the devil. When you feel like, the, when you say the devil is greater than God, that's faith in the devil. Okay. And that's a wicked mind. You a wicked God call you a wicked people. So we're gonna have to just like we get together and go up for Kyrie and and stand before uh, the people and declare who we are. We gotta do that. We gotta do that to the to these people that call themselves governing us. We gotta get together and go before that White House and all those government bodies, whether it be local or at the White House. We gotta get together and make that stance. We're not paying any more taxes. We don't want your jobs anymore. We're going we're gonna to move toward God and watch how he's going to deliver us from their government. And at, at the same time, we're going to be forming security teams too. You say we're an army. We're going to have to protect ourselves. But we won't have to do that. All we have to do is stand up and God said he's going to bring them into servitude under us while they are calling us their servant. He's going to bring them into servitude under us if we stand up and reject their government. You've got to do it. you got to claim, you got to nationally proclaim that we are no longer considered your bywords. We are the Israelites and we're taking our identity back why? Because we're no longer in slavery. 
God said they held us too long. So how did they hold us too long if we still in slavery? If we gonna have to be in slavery till he come and deliver us, then they didn't hold us too long. They held us just right. But they're holding us too long. And we're found in their hands. If he's going, to, if he's condemning them for holding us too long, that means we're not slaves anymore. Especially the, us that are keeping the laws and commandments of God. So we're not his slaves anymore. The chains came off. That means we were destroyed. We didn't know who we were. He's waking us up. So our time of slavery is over. All we have to do now is move from that government to our up to the government of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and Yahweh, our power, and claim and depend on Him and lay up and depend on Him to do what He said He's going to do, and He's going to do it. He's going to take these wicked governors and wicked tyrants. He's going to break them down when we stop depending on them. We got to make the declaration though. We've got to do it. And we need you men who got all these big congregations to form that, uh, to form that, that, uh, that gathering and go before these people and declare. And I guarantee you, you're going to get worldwide news. And everybody, the whole world is waiting on us. When the righteous, are in authority, the people rejoice. You got to do it, Brother Nate. You got to do it. All you guys with these big organizations and claiming, you got to stop depending on YouTube and stop living that luxurious life and patting yourself on the back. I'm not saying you all are doing it, but I know y'all enjoying it and scared. You're scared. But stop being scared, man. And gather these people. I guarantee you I'll be with you. It won't be me. The people are going to appoint themselves one head. They're going to, if you won't do it, somebody's going to do it. And that's who the people are going to follow. There's people right here, right now, waiting to follow somebody to go up and say, we ain't voting no more. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't policing us no more. You, we don't, y'all ain't giving us that bad food no more. We taking our land back. Let's see you stop these 40 million people from taking their stuff back. And we ain't coming to take y'all stuff. We just, we know once we gather together, they're gonna move all together in one in one in one bunch. They're gonna be so scared, they're gonna get the hell out of the neighborhoods and we're gonna just walk in them houses, man. You know, that's what's gonna happen. And I know they don't like this video. They ain't gonna like this. I'm you know, we ain't trying to go kill y'all. We're gonna leave y'all alone. We're gonna let Jesus Christ do it. He said he's gonna make y'all our servants right in the midst of us. He's going to turn y'all into servants in your minds. He's going to twist your arm so bad. The first thing you're going to say is they, they are the Israelites. Then you're going to say, let's leave them alone. Not only that, the other nations, even the white, so-called white people, Edomites, they're going to say, leave them people alone. I'm with them. We're going to cleave to y'all. And we're going to help y'all get this wicked government down all over the world. That's going to happen. That's when... And we know what's going to happen then. You know, when they see it happening, they're going to run and try to gather the Israelites up and start killing us. But then they're going to get that call. They're going to get that call, man. We ain't we ain't a part of y'all uh, 10, 10 nations no more, 12 nations. We ain't part of that European Union no more. We with these people over here. Get ready. Here it comes. They're gonna get scared, man. And they ain't gonna, we're gonna be small fires. They're gonna try to be friends with us. They're gonna start giving you gifts. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, because that's gonna be the end of the world. That's gonna be the end right there. And then they're gonna, you know, for 10 days, they're gonna go out with that Jacob Trouble campaign, right? Jacob Trouble's already started, man. They've already poisoned the water and the food. They've already shooting you with booster shots and stuff like that on all kind of stuff. We won't say no names, but they all already got the animal vaccines going. And, you know, 
But that's what's going to happen. And they can't stop it. They can stop these videos. They can stop YouTube. When you see them doing that and shutting them stores down, then everybody going to know then that these people are our enemies. That's going to make everybody form together even faster. So they can't, they can't do anything. They can't go back to this again. They're going to do it, but it's only going to last 10 days, and then their ass is going to be out. So all praises to the Most High, and I'm just so glad that it's happening now. This is the best time to live in, to see our enemies fall. This is the best time to ever live in. There's nothing they can do about it. All praises. Enjoy your Saturday.